Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as you may well know, on Windows, Microsoft has gone to great lengths to make the Edge browser the default and to keep you using Edge and to keep you making it the default browser. Although this has changed to some degree or the other in recent times. Now because of this, it seems now that Google wants to make things even easier and more functional and user-friendly as to making Chrome the default browser on Windows. And apparently there are plans that will make it possible to not only switch your default browser to Chrome, but also to pin a shortcut to the browser in your taskbar when you do make it your default browser. Now currently, if we just head into our settings, there is an option to make Chrome your default. Now I've already made it so it says Google Chrome is your default browser. If it isn't, you'll have an option here. And then if you click on that, it'll take you into the settings of Windows where you have to change a couple of things to make it your default. So this is where Google wants to make things a lot easier. Now this change was recently spotted by Windows Report, where recent changes to the code of Chrome are showing us signs of Google making Google Chrome the default browser and putting it to the taskbar and giving us an option for that. Now this is still very much in its early days of development. And if we head over to Chrome in Garrett and we head to this patch, here we can see some strings, which is code. Settings, default browser, make default and pin. So basically it says, make Chromium the default browser and pin it to the taskbar. So there's the patch. So this is something that Google is developing and working on for the Chrome browser. Now other browser developers have also experimented with um, making their browsers the defaults, notably Mozilla with the Firefox web browser. So it's going to be interesting to see if this will make it to the so-called light of day and make it to the stable version. And if it does, it's going to be interesting to see if Microsoft will counter this as an option and blocking this option in Windows. As I always say with Microsoft, only time will tell. But nonetheless, interesting. And I'll keep my ears to the ground with this and let you know if I get more info. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.